I'm Adil Kumar and in my set of videos on trigonometric identities, I have taken three examples in which I'll prefer to do both sides to prove the identity. This is one of those. Cos x minus 1 divided by 1 minus secant x equals to cos x plus 1 divided by 1 plus secant x. Now in such an example, what I will do is that I will solve both left side as well as the right side. So I am dividing my page accordingly. So this is my left side and that is my right side. So let's begin from the left hand side. We have cos x minus 1 divided by 1 minus secant x. So whenever you have such expressions, it is better to write these reciprocal functions in terms of sine and cosine to move forward. So that is the strategy here. So the strategy here is to replace secant x with 1 over cos x and then simplify. Simple as that, right? So the left side for us will be cos x minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 over cos x, correct? Now taking the common denominator, for the denominator, right, so we get cos x minus 1, so we get divided by, we are taking cos x as common denominator, we get cos x minus 1. Now, so at this stage, you could also write this as cos x minus 1 times, it is divided by this, it flips, right, so it becomes cos x over cos x minus 1, right? Now they get cancelled and what you get here on the left side is cos x. Let's do the same operations on the right side. So we have cos x plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over cos x which is equals to cos x plus 1 over cos x plus 1 with a common denominator of cos x and that should give you cos x cos x cancel this flips but instead of that I'm adding a step cos x plus 1 it's a good idea to add this step right times cos x divided by cos x plus 1 they get cancelled and we get cos x so we know left side is equals to right side and that is how we can prove this particular identity, correct? So that is how you could do it. So it becomes very simple, right? We could have gone from here to there, but I think this is a very simple process. So some identities are better proven by using both left and right side. We can come to a common result and then say, since both of them are equal, left side is equal to right side. That's the concept here to understand. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Let's move on to a slightly more complicated case. Thank you and all the best.